All right, so now we're gonna get into Windows. So we're a reminder, we're a two-point perspective, right? We have a uh, vanishing point on the left side, we have a vanishing point on the right side. And the idea here is that you can only make three lines um, so you're limited on where you can go, okay? So you can draw a line to this vanishing point, or you can draw a line to that vanishing point, or you can draw a vertical line. That's it. It's all you can do. If you draw other than straight up and down or to a vanishing point, you've made what I call a space line, and it does not exist in two-point perspective, okay? So let's put a window. This time I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to do an inset window over here, and then I'll do a window frame on this side. So I'll reverse it. So let's think of what height we want. And I'm just going to go ahead and make it roughly the same size as the door. Pretty close. Okay. And then because we got our vertical line there, which should be parallel to this vertical line, because all vertical lines should be parallel to each other. I'm going to line that up, figure out how long I want the window. It's to about right there. Little mess up, not a big deal. And then again, I'm going towards the right vanishing point. I'm not doing anything to the left yet, but I will. Okay, and then make a vertical line here. And then I can clean this little line up. And again, I'm making an inset window. So what I'm going to do is uh, no frame. I'm going to go from this point because if I go from this point over to over this way, that doesn't make any sense if, unless I'm doing a, a frame and I'm not doing a frame. I'm doing an inset. So I'm going to go to this one. You always got to check each one of your four points and say, okay, which way am I going? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. This one, because I'm so close to the vanishing point, um, I will actually draw a slight line but it's gonna be, oh, ever so slight. Actually, it depends on how thick we wanna make it. So I do have a line in there. <clears throat> it's really close to the other one because our horizon line is here. Anything on the horizon line is straight across from you and you can't see in, up, down, or whatever. So what I'm gonna do now is let's, I gotta match roughly that same line. I'm going to do it from the top window, top part of the window. I have no idea how what the thickness was. That's going to change. And now I'm going to make a, a, a vertical line that's parallel to this. Okay. Let me erase that line because I don't want that anymore. Normally I tell my students don't erase right away when you're sketching. This is not really a sketch uh, because we want our mistakes to be visible. Uh, in this case, we don't want our mistakes to be visible right now because we don't want to be confused. Now I'm going to go from this point. So this is the left side of this line, right? This is technically the right side. I'm going to make a line that's aimed at this, the right side vanishing point, but I'm going to have it go backwards because I need to go towards this side. Boom. Okay. Now, since I do have this little cut in right here, I need to make this line also go towards that vanishing point. And it's going to be ever so small, really close. Whoops. I think I slipped. Oh, well, I think it's okay. Because again, if we're above the, if we're at the horizon line, and these lines are below the horizon line, we will still see a little bit of a, a sill, a window sill. Since we are below the or at the horizon line, and these lines are above the horizon line, we can see up into that area. So we technically would be able to see like the ceiling back in here uh, if there was such a thing. Okay. Right now, what we would consider this is a, I don't know, a display window, and we're just going to put a sheet of glass there. So I'm going to put my line for my glass. Uh, on top of this. The reason I have a line on top of this is because the window goes all the way to this edge. So I want to show that the window is on in front of uh, and flush with the building. 
otherwise, if I would have made the lines back here, the window could have been in this back area. The piece of glass would have been in the back area and this would have been another ledge. Nobody wants a ledge up here exposed to the elements without an awning because you're just gonna get water and birds and all kinds of things. We don't want birds on our window below uh, with the door right below because that would be a disaster for people walking in and out. Um, that business would probably not last very long. So now let's put a windowsill over here. Or do we want to put in a balcony? Oh, hmm. interesting, interesting thought, Mr. Ackerman. Um, let's go balcony. Let's do it. I'm going to go on this side first. The balcony still is technically a window. Okay, and then we're gonna go at the top. And that's gonna be the top of our balcony. This is where it starts to get a little tricky because we gotta have a railing that comes out here, but where's that line gonna go to, right? But I need to be aiming at the right, in order to get the right angle, Okay, so this line here is going to be the edge of our balcony, and it went over to the right, or it came from the right. Yeah, and follow my line. There we go. So, make sure this is vertical. So we're starting to see it here. Um, so this line here did not go to the left. This line came off of this line, but this went over to the right vanishing point. Because we're on the horizon line, uh, it gets a little dicey, okay? Because it, it would, because part of it is on top, part of it is underneath, so on and so forth. So we just have to be careful that we're going to the right lines. Now, since we're on the left side of our balcony vertical line, we have to go to the left side vanishing point. Okay, so now you can see it coming together. I'm going to close the door frame off, make sure I'm as parallel as I can possibly be here. Okay, so, yeah, there's a balcony. Now, typically, if this is a balcony, this will also be an overhang. So what we're gonna do is the same thing we did over here, we're gonna do it over there, and we have to go the opposite direction. So how much of an overhang does our balcony have? Let's go there, okay? So then this gets another vertical. We wanna be parallel to this. And then from here, this is gonna go down towards the left. Again, if you're more comfortable with the cork uh, side, which I would prefer my students use the cork side so it doesn't slip. A lot of kids have an issue holding this ruler still. Okay, so there is the balcony. Now we can make this, we can put railings on this if we wanted to, um, all kinds of fancy stuff and make it look all dimensional and fancy. Um, I did this kind of last minute, so I don't really have a plan. And that is okay with me. Okay, so there's the front, and then let's put some, let's give this like a railing, like thickness here. I'm going to go to 
to the other side. Try to match the thickness. Eh, close. And then I'm gonna try to match that thickness. I, if you notice I'm a little wider here, it's because my pencil is kind of leaning sideways. Alright, so there we go. And this could, let's just make this glass. Now, oh, let's really go for blowing your mind, right? If this is glass, that means I can see the door frame. And I just got to decide how much, how far down it goes, how much I should see. Okay, that's not bad, not bad, not bad. Now I gotta aim, which way? Which way, which way? So if the top was aiming to the right, then the bottom should be aiming to the right. Whoops, I didn't go far enough. My bad. I went too far, oh well, okay. So now we're gonna take the bottom of the door frame over to the left. And now we've got a glass patio. Nope, I did something wrong. Ah ha 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 ha, that's what I did wrong. So this line is going here, that line is going there, that means this line would be going here and this line would be going there. So since we're right on the horizon line, we might not even notice a difference. So right there would be that one. So what I'm gonna do is erase this guy. That will end up serving as the back line. And then this one, it's gonna basically skate right next to it. Oh wow, I don't even know if we're going to notice a difference. Barely, barely. And then the bottom line is going to go towards, and this is exactly what I was afraid of. Because it's so tight, holy cow. It's right on the horizon line. Okay, so hopefully you drew yours in a slightly different area. Aha, that's not going to work. So, made a mistake again. So, I need to draw Too far. I need it to be closer. Take that out to there. Maybe I shouldn't have done a balcony. I haven't done a balcony in years. Oh, well, you live and learn, right? I'm getting it. Just taking time. Okay. Oh, boy. So, because of that, this is glass. This is glass, this is glass, okay? And then we'll call this glass on this side, okay? Even if we would have put um, little slats here, like rails, um, I'm 
losing the term of that right now. Uh, anyways, we would have put little slats here. We still would have had to take into consideration possibly seeing this door frame, right? Uh, since this is an actual door, what I'm gonna do is put in right back here, just put in a line. That would be kind of the separation of the door. Maybe we see the door. Uh, let's see, we wouldn't see the door thing because most of the door things are on this side and it slides over and you walk out. Maybe a little confusing, but give it a shot. What I would suggest, <laughs> put your balcony down below further uh, than the horizon line or have it up much higher. Um, either way, it'd be easier to draw. But we did get an overhang now. So now, if somebody's standing out here, they're actually going to be protected from the elements underneath that door frame or underneath that balcony. What I'm going to do is put a small line right here. That's bothering me. Okay. Okay. A lot of lines going on, a lot of things happening with this one. And for some reason, I feel this is not straight. Uh, this is not straight. I want to be parallel with this. And technically the bottom of this line is skating right along here so I don't want to confuse anybody else by making that really thin okay so we've got doors from the last video windows technically a window and then um, a balcony uh, again what we could do is put a frame on this just like we did down here if that's what we wanted to do um, but I'm not going to because you could easily just re-watch this part and that will explain how to do it on uh, the window itself. Okay, it's the same premise, same idea, everything still functions uh, the same. Uh, I am kind of glad that I did a balcony. I'm just kind of upset uh, that I have it right on the horizon line, so I'm not very pleased with that, but oh well. All right, and then the next video will be putting buildings in the background.